On this episode of Pedalbox, the front of the car is finally starting to take shape as we add bodywork and sheet metal around the headlights and really see what the shape of the car is going to be. I've been looking forward to doing this for quite some time, but I had to start at the back to work forward to make sure that everything worked because there was a bunch of stuff at the front we weren't done with. But now is the time that the front wing is actually going to get some panel work put onto it. This is the first piece, same steel that we've been using everywhere else. And this big old panel goes all the way from this half inch box section on the inside, right the way around and down to this outside lip here. So we're gonna use this as the shoulder around the edge of the car on the outside. And it's gonna come all the way back to this brake here. So this is a piece of structure that goes in onto the main uh, sort of roll structure of the car really and comes down up to the front so it's a nice break point in order to join panels together and it's going to go all the way forward and cover over the um, eyebrow if you will over the headlights so this is going to be quite monumental Well, I don't think anybody is going to be surprised when I say I'm thrilled with how these have come out. They are really, really looking good. And it was a little bit harder than I expected it to be. We had to change the process slightly midway through and actually bending it over this side was dead easy. But where it was folding forward, there wasn't quite enough flex and it wasn't going to give us the right shape. So we actually just pie cut out probably about an inch and a half from this edge and then re-welded it across the rib once this side had been folded around and that worked perfectly. And Actually, this side came out better than the other one because we did the other one first and then this one really just fell into place nicely. Now it takes a lot of time shrinking and stretching the metal to get it into the right place and it's not something that I can easily kind of describe how to do. Really it's something you need to just kind of feel your way through to learn. But the basics of it that I found are on a curved panel you want a curved dolly like this one which is curved on two different sides. I have got some other ones as well but this went in line with the inside edge across here and then the uh, hammer you want a flat head if you're on a curved panel so the edges don't hit the sides and if you're on a curved panel you want a domed head which feels very counterintuitive it's very counterintuitive to me but it does make sense because then you don't get edges knocked into it so you just need to go along and basically tap where you want the metal to kind of move to so you have a crease that you want to smooth out you put the dolly underneath it and then tap the crease down until you get the right shape and you want to do just very very gentle taps you might want to welly into it to bend the shape out when you start but when you're smoothing things out you really want to go very very slowly it's very easy to ruin it and go over the top So the next bit we need to do is rolling the front edge around this eyebrow lip here. So this just wants lots of little pie cuts across the front, wrapping round underneath and then welding across the front and that will clean up the very front edge and then we can finish up all of these spot welds as well, make sure they're flat and we're good to go. Now in a classic piece of pedal box yak shaving, we've had to remove the bumper bar in order to install the next part of the arch on this side, just forward of the wheel. 
and you might think that's a little bit ridiculous, but there's a good reason for it. We had to take this off in order to get the frame that holds the lights out. We can't put the lights in directly because there are two screws that go down into the top that hold it onto the frame as per whatever episode we built them on. You can go back and take a look at that using the link up in the corner. So this section needs to come out in order to attach the lights and then has to go back in, which is all well and good. Unfortunately, this small extension, which came across the bottom here, gets in the way so fantastically that it's almost impossible to reinsert this uh, section properly. And if we put bodywork across there, it would be even harder. So it's a lot easier to break the front of it right at this section here, have the front of the car coming down on the, the main chassis and have everything underneath the light be removable and bolt onto the edge. And that's why we needed to do all of this to work out where the front edge of that's gonna land. So this is the next section we're going to deal with on filling in the rest of this arch. And the piece that I cut off from this side is actually going to fit almost perfectly in right down there. And it will give us the frame to put a piece of bodywork that comes all the way down to this section here. Now everything below this section is actually going to be attached onto this framework, same as the piece that comes around the front. It just makes life way more easy. But there's actually not going to be very much coming around this section. It's basically just going to come down and attach onto this framework. So it should be fairly simple, all things considered, to just fit that up. I'm tempted to start a little bit bigger and actually do the whole side all the way down and just wrap it around and bolt it on there and see how it looks because I can always cut it back later. But welding two sheets of flat steel right up against one another edge to edge is very, very hard. With the side piece on, a little bit of paint whilst that dries, we've got some other bits we can get on with. And one of them is this inner arch. The other one I have left in the garage. So the other piece is the washer fluid bottle. And this is gonna go in on the inside in this little pocket behind this inner arch cover. Now you're not gonna to need to pop the inner arch cover to fill it. You're gonna be able to get in through the top from the bonnet section, which is gonna lift off at the back here for certain. So this can come off and it'll be mounted that way round. This little tab goes onto the inner rail, which you might be able to see just about here. And then this 12-pointed stud is just going to get welded on. Well, this 12-pointed bolt is going to turn into a stud and just be welded onto the bottom. So it'll sit nice and easy. We can get to it, get to all of the connections and everything we need to. Smart people would have put this on before we built the rest of the wing so that you could actually see what we were doing. We are not smart people. So this is just going to get put on and you're going to have to trust us. In the meantime, our inner arch can be cut to fit. Now you remember we had this on underneath here, but obviously we had a lot of excess material because we didn't know exactly what shape this was gonna be. Well, now we know what shape it's gonna be and using some neat cardboard design, we can work out where we're gonna need it to go. Now I folded this around across the bottom of the strut underneath here, and I've basically torn it and sliced it into the approximate shape. It is gonna be rubber around here, so it doesn't matter that it's gonna be absolutely perfect. Now a little tip for locating bolt holes. If you have cardboard like this, take some grime. That was on the wrong hand. There you go. Some grime, put that over your bolt hole, hold it in place as best you can, find it underneath the template, and then rub over the top of it, and you'll get an approximate location of the bolt hole, or in this case, the riv nut that we've put on, which should give us a reasonable indication. And it's not bad. It could be worse. It could be an awful lot better. And this, we can then locate over here, which needs to go about there, there. And with the pen, I definitely haven't forgotten about, we can rough in the approximate shape of the top of the inner arch. Now again, I say this is approximate, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit too big or even a little bit too small, because there's gonna be a rubber filling that comes around the outside to give it a decent seal onto the inside of the wing. So I'll cut this down and then install it. I've run out of rubber sealing, so it's not gonna get that on today.
Well, I've said it once, and I'm going to say it again. I am extremely happy with how these have come out. It definitely wasn't easy rolling this over, but it wasn't actually quite as much of a nightmare as I thought it might be. Um, it was definitely a two-person job, though, with um, somebody bending and somebody basically chivying it into place and tacking it as we go but it's come out and it looks really really good obviously we put the lights back in so that you can see what it looks like and get a better idea of the front end and the next one hopefully i'm going to start working on the very front end of this as you can see we've still got the um, crash bar off we need to work out what we're going to do with the front of this and up onto this section across the scoop now on the one hand we can keep that completely solid weld it all in and i think we still have good enough access to this panel and everything else from all of the other points that we need we can get into the bolts at the back here through the wheel wells if we take the inner arches off which these ones on this side will be a little bit simpler i could even use the same bolt to hold that in as uh, the as part of the wheel arch which might be a really smart way to go Go. so that would should still work fine obviously these ones can be got out from the front so I don't currently see any reason why we can't just cover this whole piece with a welded on piece of steel perhaps with a little brace in the center because it is going to be a bit flappy but all being well that should be coming up in a future episode if you haven't already you should subscribe to the channel and if you'd like to buy one of our t-shirts which i'm actually wearing today you can go to shop.pedalbox.show where you can buy t-shirts in short sleeve long sleeve you can support us more directly at patreon.com forward slash pedalbox show and join any of our tiers from as little as a dollar a month all of our tiers from five and up get access onto the discord server where we post pictures of things that are ongoing including the sd1 this and the thunderbird and generally chat about what's going on follow us on twitter facebook and instagram where we try to post updates as well and interesting things that we see and if you message us we can chat with you there as well as obviously on the discord server if you haven't, remember to hit the little bell when you subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching.